Um, trying out our new pizza maker. This is gifted to us. We have the dough. We're gonna do ricotta and shredded mozzarella. I sauteed up some onion, bell pepper, and corn. The seasonings have my pizza sauce going, just whole canned tomatoes with garlic powder, basil, pepper, stuff like that. A little red pepper flake, <laughs> the ground sausage. First one. Yeah. That looks pretty good. It looks so good. It looks pretty good. Excited. Welcome back. You know what? Let me put my contacts in and then I will come back. All right. Contacts are in and tinted moisturizer is on. I am about to throw on some really quick makeup and I just feel like I have a lot of little things to talk about. So I figured I would turn the camera on and we could catch up. If you are currently asking yourself, does this girl just wear the same outfit and hairstyle and earrings every single day? The answer is yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> this is my transition into fall uniform and it's working for me. So I'm not taking it off. I'm wearing the same jeans that I've probably worn like the past five vlogs, the same shirt from Target that I got in three different colors and the same Amazon earrings, along with this hairstyle, which amazingly is so much more comfortable than just a regular ponytail or a braid. And I got these hair ties from Amazon that are supposed to be like no damage. I'm using the heck out of them as you can tell because the elastic's already coming out, but they work so well and it's comfortable. I also, I think I'm getting like a lot of new hair growth. Over the past several years, I've been dealing with like just these crazy pieces, but it seems like I have so much more and I don't think it's breakage. I think it's actually new hair growth. And I think it might be attributable to the Armour Colostrum. So I will keep you updated, but I don't know. I've just noticed a little bit of a change in my hair recently. So it is currently 1 p.m. I've been working all morning. It's one of those days where the time is flying by. I was talking with Sam this morning. I was saying that as soon as Friday hits, it's like time speeds up because you know it's gotta be really speedy through the weekend so it feels like you have no time. But um, it's Friday and the day's been going by quickly. I've been working all morning. It was one of those mornings where the task that I thought would maybe take an hour or two ended up taking several hours working on modifying questions that we are putting together for some interviews we'll be doing. And that took me a long time. I was kind of starting to notice myself just feeling like I was in a bit of a rut. So I decided, you know what, Lauren, put on some real clothes, put on your contacts because my favorite glasses broke this week also. I've never broken a pair of glasses before in my life um, and I've been wearing glasses since first grade and I was one of those things where I think it was getting ready to happen for a long time and I didn't notice it. I just picked them up and they snapped. So I do have plenty of other pairs of glasses. I'm very fortunate. Sam's dad is an optometrist as is Sam and so glasses are a big gift in this family. So I have plenty of other pair but nothing is as comfortable as those ones that I, of course, had broken in over years and just really enjoyed. So I've been wearing other glasses and they've been hurting my face. I needed a little break. We still are working on getting me in the right scleral prescription. I wear glass contacts and I have a unique prescription. It's been difficult to get me fitted properly. This is like round four, I think. I'm getting new ones in next week. So hopefully we are inching closer to the right fit. 
I see well with them. They can just be slightly uncomfortable, but I'm like weighing out which discomfort do I want. I don't want this comfort of weight on my face today. So I will take the discomfort of contacts that are too tight instead. Dissertation development is going well. Let's put on the lip liner now. No rules, right? I've been loving this Merit Foundation. I'm in the color Dune. This is my first time trying it out a couple of vlogs ago, and I have absolutely loved it. A little bit of concealer, and then we'll do like a quick blush and pretty much be done. I um, shared my September three minute essay earlier this week, which I spoke about in my previous vlog, and it's interesting, if you are someone who grew up experiencing childhood trauma and you can relate to this, please let me know. Whenever, whenever I share things about my life experience, no matter how big or how small, sometimes afterward there can be like this feeling of guilt for sharing it and like exposing the reality of my life, exposing family members in a way, um, and over time, like that feeling of guilt and shame and like regret almost has gotten more manageable, but then every so often it'll just come on strong and it came on strong this week after sharing that. And it's kind of one of those things where I just have to remind myself like that feeling doesn't mean that I'm doing the wrong thing and I kind of just have to like go with my gut and what I feel I'm called to share but it can be difficult. So if you, like I said, experienced like childhood trauma, unconventional way of living, of growing up, and you feel called to like share things to help others in their own journey, and you go through that experience, I guess this is just a reminder that you're not alone dealing with that. This is the Lawless powder. I also, this is also newer to me. I got it in shade Fair and Light. This is the Fair. I decided just to keep both. I didn't really deal with like returning one of them. They're very similar. So what I've been doing is kind of doing the Fair places I want to highlight and then I'll come back in with the light and do it like over my cheeks and nose just to give those areas a little more color where you would naturally get them. I haven't really been wearing a bronzer just day to day. I've been going in with this Old Physicians Formula blush this week, the Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Doesn't really have a shade, I think that's just what it's called. This Old BH Cosmetics, which for some reason is my favorite blush brush. It's like the cheapest bristles you can tell, but I don't know what it is, like the shape of it. I just like the way that this puts blush on. Another thing that I've been experiencing lately and reading a little bit more about too is the emotion of anger. I am not, not someone that I would define as an angry person at all. Within the past like month or two, I've noticed myself experiencing the emotion of anger more often and kind of not knowing how to handle that because it's newer. I've been doing some reading and like listening to some people talk about it and how, you know, it can obviously be a, like a part of grief and how sometimes when we start to move out of anxiety, I'm feeling like we've kind of gotten a little bit of a hold on anxiety in ways we can start to experience anger. It's not like I'm acting out on the anger. I'm definitely able to like just recognize it, but I also want to release it. Like I don't want to just deny that it's there or anything like that. And it's not like I'm angry with like my partner or anything. It's just this emotion of anger in general. And you know, I think more so at like the experiences that I encountered throughout development and things along those lines. So anyway, I don't know if like any of you will be able to understand or relate to that, but if you can and you have anything you'd like to share, I'd be open to hearing it. My eyelashes are still wet from the like stuff that I have to use to put my contacts in. So you have to like fill a glass contact all the way and then put it in. I know for a fact 
that information and it applies to probably no one here. But anyway, when they're wet, it's hard to crawl them. But we will just go ahead and move forward. I am feeling a little bit better having gotten out of my loungewear. I can't remember if I already did this. This line is created by an eye doctor and oh, it says it, Dr. Diane Hawal Campo. And um, these are like eyeshadow sticks. She creates her products with, you know, eye health and safety in mind. I've really enjoyed her products. So this is an eyeshadow stick and I just put it under the lash line because I don't like to wear mascara under there. It transfers no matter what on me. This is in the color Snake Eyes. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that you're only supposed to have these for three months. You know how it says, if you didn't know this, by the way, on most of your like makeup products, skincare, things like that, if you look closely, it'll have like a little container with a number and then M. Um, and that's how many months you can keep the product. So things, the longest I've seen things go up to is usually like 24 months max. Three months is definitely the shortest I've ever seen. I assume it's because, again, she's like really focused on eye safety and health and everything, but um, no, I'm going to be keeping those for a lot longer than three months. Sorry, Diane. I went out of order today and had my tea before my lunch as well. <laughs> so I'm not too hungry yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and sit back at my desk. See, I have some emails. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to sit back at my desk. <sighs> I'm going to sit back at my desk and respond to my PI about some things. Try to get a little more work done and then probably have lunch in like an hour or so. By the way, the pizza oven. We made pizza last night and it was so delicious. Um, some close family friends, it's my dad's best friend who I grew up with and his wife who I also have grown up with. Uh, they gifted Sam and I a pizza oven just on a whim, which was so sweet. And so we made pizza last night and it was so delicious. Amazing gift if you're looking for a gift for someone or for yourself, but it was the best pizza we've ever made at home. Good morning, part of my appearance. It is Saturday, 7.56 a.m. I am so tired this morning. I woke up at 7 a.m. and I felt like I hadn't been that tired waking up in so long. It was so difficult. Someone woke us up at 4 a.m. having a bad nightmare, so that might be part of it. I don't want to say her name because she's underneath me and I don't want her to get riled up. But I'm at my desk and um, I have like some manuscripts that I need to review for some journals. So I would like to get that done. It's been weighing on me. And, you know, I just decide that if I feel miserable working, then I won't do it. And if I don't mind doing it, then I'm just going to do it. So despite the fact that it's Saturday, I want to do these things. I'm going to also woke up with a pimple right here, which is annoying. So it is. <laughs> Super random, but it's been a game changer for us. My aunt showed me this and she said that my grandma showed her. We take our sponges and cut them into thirds. You get more bang for your buck and they feel easier to use. Never would have thought to do it.
Today is Tuesday. I thought that I didn't have any meetings today, but then thankfully looked at my calendar this morning and saw that I have one at noon. And I believe it's like around 10.30 now. So just taking a quick minute to do a couple things that I wanted to get done. I'm waiting for feedback from various people on various things before I can move forward. I have a manuscript that's ready for submission. I just asked my advisor for one piece of input if we should change something about like the introductory paragraphs. I'm waiting to hear back from her, but I believe she teaches today. So I probably won't hear back from her until I see her in a meeting tomorrow. Waiting for other people to complete some things within the postdoc realm before we can move forward with that project. So I'm kind of up in the air. I have one more manuscript to review for a journal and I might get that done. I guess I could probably do another like practice run through of my dissertation presentation. Yesterday I did the book review. I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous vlog or not, but one of my previous advisors cold called me and asked me to write a book review on a book that him and my other advisor wrote. So I finally got that book review off yesterday. It was nice to check that off the list. Thankfully, I was able to clean out my closet over the weekend and reorganize some of my drawers, getting ready for this transition into fall. I'm trying to make sure that I stay bundled up. I do not want to get sick leading up to my defense and change of seasons are always hard. So I'm trying to stay bundled up. This is a sweater from Nordstrom. I got it during the Nordstrom sale. Thought the color was fun. So this is nice and cozy for the day. We are thinking about the fact that this is going to be our last winter here in Boston because we will be moving back to California this next summer after we get married in May. So it's kind of strange just like reflecting on that. I will miss the seasons. I was raised in California outside of a few years when we lived in Vegas. So it definitely is my way of living and Sam was also born and raised in California. I think in some ways it'll be nice to go back to what we know. And in other ways, I think I'll miss having the seasons of New England. I know over the next couple of weeks leading up to the events and then thereafter, things are really gonna pick up. I have a conference in New York City in November. Sam and I are traveling back to California to visit family for Thanksgiving. A lot is going to be happening very quickly. Please bear with me as I lead up to the defense. These vlogs might be a little bit boring. I'm kind of working two jobs, so most of my time currently is being spent at my desk. Thank you for being here and for just hanging in there with me. I'm excited for the holiday season and to share more content after the defense about how it went and answering any of your questions that you may have. So thanks for being here and I'm sorry if it's coming off as boring. The purpose of creating this YouTube channel was to kind of share like a behind the scenes of my life because much of the content that I share on Instagram is more writing based and curated naturally. And so I wanted to give you a different take on what the experience is like being a PhD student and now a postdoc as I prepare to defend. I try to keep it as authentic as I can. I guess some of that is just that the day-to-day -day right now is looking a little bit repetitive. But if you have anything that you would like to see from me, please comment down to let me know whether it's like, you know, certain questions that you may have, certain video ideas, or if there's like aspects of my day-to-day -day that you feel like I'm not showing and you'd like to see. I don't know. Let me know what those are in the comments if you have any and I'd be happy to share. This has been her favorite spot this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen I've been posting photos on my story of her in her different positions on this tiny office couch. I have about an hour until the meeting. I've been doing this yummy snack this week with cottage cheese, which is really high in protein, and then some fruit. We have frozen fruit, and I just like sit it out and let it thaw for a bit. Um, and then put it over and it's kind of just like a nice little treat, still getting some protein in. So I might do that here in a bit, have some tea and launch into the meeting for the day. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.